Now, before we jump into the course, I want to give you a little course overview, kind of a roadmap, so you'll understand where we're going and what we're going to be looking at here. I'll start off with a little server history. It really helps to understand where this product has been, how we got some of these technologies like Active Directory and so forth. Then we'll talk about what's new in server 2012 or 2012. You'll hear me call it all kinds of things, no doubt. Then we'll talk about what's missing, what's been taken out of 2012, what's being deprecated, what's going away in the near future. And then we'll talk about getting your hands on a copy of Windows Server 2012 so you can experiment, get some hands-on experience. And we'll talk about understanding Windows Server 2012, how we got here, what we're expecting this thing to do, what we're looking for, and then everybody's favorite, hardware requirements. And then from there, we'll jump out into the operation of Server 2012, understanding server roles, how we deal with server roles, uh, different aspects of working with uh, deploying roles, configuring services, things like uh, the new interface, uh, actually configuring our servers, file system options. We'll talk about storage spaces, thin provisioning, kind of an interesting thing, really interesting. Then NIC teaming, a network interface card teaming, our different file system formats, our server roles and features. We'll talk about roles, services, features, how these things all fit together. We'll get into uh, NTFS and share permissions, just give you a review on that. Configuring offline files, VSS, the virtual shadow copy service, NTFS disk quotas, those sorts of things. Then we'll jump out there and talk about things like features on demand, the whole printing process, enterprise print management, printer pooling, printer priorities, printer permissions. We'll get into some of those things. Microsoft loves to test on those things. And then remote management, we'll touch a little bit on that. WinRM, client-based server management, down-level server management. Then we'll jump out into core network services, give you some refreshers on DHCP, scopes, reservations, options, relay agents, DNS, Active Directory integration, forwarders, root hints, just all kinds of stuff on those, a little IP version 4 and 6 in there. Then we'll talk about Active Directory, just a little bit, group policy, Hyper-V. We'll concentrate more on the virtual hard disk side of Hyper-V. Play with Server Core just a bit, and then we'll wrap it up on how to prepare for this exam, how to actually take the exam, and how to deal with it. So we're going to cover a lot of information. We're going to cover a huge chunk of those objectives to help get you ready for this exam. Thanks for being here. Let's jump in and get started.